Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it to another reaction on this uh, YouTube platform, brothers and sisters. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning into this here vibrations on BRBP TV. And of course, I'll be dropping another one of the Mr. Lick's reaction, and guys, a bit later on today. So definitely tune in for that. The link will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. I do appreciate every single one of you guys for definitely, you know, showing your love and support for the vibrations over the years, brothers and sisters. And of course, I do appreciate every single one of you guys for definitely being a part of this here vibrations, guys. Don't forget to do what? Click the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that, guys. Click the like button. Of course, helping the algorithm to push these videos further and further out there. And of course, brothers and sisters, don't forget if you have not done so to definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can pretty much get the vibrations when I tend to drop them. And of course, help this year channel to grow further and further in that regard right there. So if you have not done so, brothers and sisters, subscribe. <laughs> definitely subscribe. And of course, share this year videos from time to time as well, brothers and sisters. Without further ado, let us get into the vibrations for today on this year's channel, brothers and sisters. Of course, what you've seen right there is something rather interesting that we wish we had in Dominica, brothers and sisters. But unfortunately, this is not in Dominica. This is none other than St. Kate's, brothers and sisters. And of course, they are reintroducing yet again another discount. This is not a, just a VAT day, no, brothers and sisters, but a discounted VAT day. I think they have the VAT days. Um, well, I think they removed the VAT completely. And now they are introducing, well... To my understanding, they are they are having no. I think it has happened already. Well, they are having a discounted VAT day, brothers and sisters, and of course, cabinet has approved this as of April 12, 2024, as the first reduced VAT day for 2024, right there, brothers and sisters, and of course, all VAT rate registered businesses to charge VAT at the rate of five percent on the sale of goods only, all tangible items that are currently subjected to seventy percent VAT value added tax will be will qualify for the discount on discounted vat rate day brothers and sisters of course items eligible must also be able to be uh, uh sorry items eligible must also be available for sale at immediate uh insurance or delivery to the customer uh, on discounted vat rate day orders for items not in stock do not qualify so i'm guessing only the stuff that is in stock definitely qualifies right there of course vehicles uh you know uh, ammunitions and what have you pellets cigarettes and alcohol beverage are not eligible i'm happy about this specific one right there what's not eligible especially when it comes on to the 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 the, the, the smoking substance brothers and sisters they are definitely not reducing vat on that i think you should also increase vat on this one i think this one should take about 25 percent you know but of course i think in all fairness they're trying to say okay 70 percent is generally what it is so it is what it is brothers and sisters but i do agree with them right there in that regard of course individuals will be doing what buying the items on the island right there in st Kitts and nevis so of course congratulations to yet another wonderful thing that they have done for the citizens right there brothers and sisters now of course concerning dominica right there dominica apparently went to china you know um scary Tan and, and his um entourage they left for china of course you know we have been hearing about uh dominica not having the ability to meet certain requirements or financial obligations to which where businesses are not even taking government lpos anymore so apparently scary must have gone to china for him to seek some sort of help you know in that regard and of course as a result of his poor and terrible management right there but while he was in china brothers and sisters he was touring and looking at phones and you know and you know looking at what maybe the high what do you call it highway the highway phones which have by the way a wicked with dick with dick i say ridiculous brothers and sisters, but ridiculously long zoom that it has brothers and sisters this is why i say ridiculous it is you know elmer ford ridiculous brothers and sisters them kind of phones there they have a wicked piece of zoom trust me on this one right there but of course i don't think that has any um help to dominica in that regard but they're, they're probably just giving them tours and stuff you know and what have you brothers and sisters and they're showing them nice cars maybe they plan to give him another gift you know it has been indicated that you know prime minister received gifts from individuals as prime minister which is interesting so we're not really sure what he gave up of dominica for him to receive certain gifts maybe they're letting him see hey look at this new thing that we are looking at maybe you can get one if you do something for us i'm just saying guys i don't know if that is the case right there but of course um they went to china for them to see if they can get some things i'm guessing they were doing normal tours you know hey this is what we have you here let us, let us just show you what we have in our regard and of course melissa and some individual was speaking i guess at some sort of 
networking meeting. It looks like a network ne networking meeting of sorts right here. But what really took the cake, brothers and sisters, is when the Prime Minister Scary decided he's going to go up and perform. Now it's interesting that the Prime Minister is talking about AM to PM we're working while the country is going down the drain consistently, consecutively. All the seas you can think of continuously, it's going down the drain, brothers and sisters. But the Prime Minister is talking from AM to PM we're working. Um, he didn't say who exactly is working for, so I think that song is actually relevant and true. Because if he didn't say who you're working for from AM to PM, we work in now is CO time. Well, apparently, they are having their own little CO of sorts. In that regard right there so where exactly are they working for brothers and sisters while the prime minister and the officials of st kitts and nevis are working for the people you know we don't know who's scared working for them. now i don't know if scary decided hey maybe i should learn the full song you know maybe to come and sing but there's a part of this where he he just stopped singing and i guess the the lady the young lady on the side had to try to help him with his own song you know that's where she started singing again from am to pm we work in That would have been very, very awkward if she didn't come in right there. So kudos to this young lady for definitely helping him out in his own song. We don't believe that the song is, is true in any way, shape or form on the basis of Dominica. Maybe it's true for them because apparently they are the ones that seem to be benefiting when it comes down to Dominica right there. I mean, he's working on a mansion. Um, other people apparently are alleged to be working on mansions. You know, we've seen big buildings coming up in Dominica. We have no clue who these buildings belong to. You know, but they are coming up, brothers and sisters. And of course, if you know how businesses work, brothers and sisters, you can definitely make somebody else own a business, even though it's your business right there, just to cover, you know, of sorts. But we don't know who building the yellow and blue building is in Rosu right there. But of course, he was singing AM to PM, we working. AM to PM, we working. Now it's your time. Who are these musicians? Are these Dominicans? Maybe you should have learned this song of the part of Rich. As indicated before. By the way, this girl is from the north of Dominica, eh? She she is in China right now. So I guess in the Dominicans as well. I saw a number of individuals I knew. When it comes on to this video right there, I saw a number of individuals actually knew who were there. I myself would have been there, no doubt about it, if I was living in China as well. But hey. I understand as well she also did not know the song i think she only knew about the am to pm song but i think this is the first time that she actually um got familiarized with that song um from my understanding it was on the spot itself that she learned that song and of course i think she did a wonderful job on the basis of this helping the very prime minister who apparently did not know his own song and probably would have just stayed mute for a while <laughs> Call himself a world boss, man. <laughs> guys, I, I think I have a, a, a thing where I have the. Let me see if I can find it for you guys. Right, hold on. Because this is not the actual video. This is a pulled video. Um, but okay, I got it. Okay, guys. Okay, is this okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. 
so um this let me see some of the comments if i can show you guys some of the comments right there of some individuals responding to that am to pm business that nobody can relate to in dominica but of course um this person is saying if embarrassment was a person yeah i think i think scary really embarrassed himself i think he really embarrassed himself in man i tell you it's kind of interesting not those two chinese at the back of kasani trying to figure out what what that going on <laughs> seems like everything is a big joke yeah it seems like there's a big joke he's going out there i'm I guess he's trying to entertain the people that are about to give him some sort of money or help or some sort of thing that regards so he's a jester right now trying to en entertain uh, uh, his masters so to speak um seems like everything is a big joke this person is saying the man rocking the world chinese and all dancing well sao what a man thank god for him uh, apparently people were laughing that comment i think people were responding anyways we're not we're not in if all you think that nonsense spirit have going on is forever the time will come when all you will ask what have i done to dominic yeah i think that that is very true right there because scary is talking about am to pm they're working and of course you know they're not working at all when it comes down to the dominican people and you know it, there comes a time where people have to then sit and see but wait a while guys i think we we're trying to have some sort of you know i don't even know the word brothers and sisters we're trying to have some sort of accountability factor maybe or self-reliance you know of sorts and none of that is happening at all because we are dependent on the very people are talking about they working from am to pm <sighs> it's truly something else but there comes a time brothers and sisters when time has gone by when we realize we have wasted so much time in this world so much time we have wasted trying to just scare it or scare it just in us which whichever it is brothers and sisters there comes a time when you will sit down and say what have i done to myself this is why i was talking about the time frame brothers and sisters the greatest currency that, that we have is time and you see how long we're wasting time when it could have been ele elevating while the other countries are elevating look that day <laughs> another thing that they have started as a result of the cbi program from my understanding brothers and sisters um scare it is pretty much putting more fees on people and going and take debts and these kind of things there and he's not going to be putting it on himself you know guys he's going to be putting it on you to pay back it's interesting when you look at how the dynamic of governance works the government can make any decision as a result of of, of whether they are properly informed or not and it'll affect the people but they know that they don't they are not the ones responsible monetarily it is the people who are responsible monetarily so whatever decisions the government makes if it screws up the countries the people will bear the burden of it this is why i like this comment so much let me click a thumbs up on this one if all you think that nonsense scared has going on is forever there will come a time when you will re when you will realize what have i done what have i done to dominica to further destroy it why are my little ones suffering as a result of miss hey no labor yeah but the sisters we have to move away from partisan and start looking at how the economy is functioning if the economy is not doing well you move out you make sure that whoever is representing you doesn't suck you know coming and saying am to pm we're working and you're not working all lies alas father god this individual is saying take the wheel we have hit rock bottom i think we have hit rock bottom a long time ago brothers and sisters a long long time ago that is vibes only in china one dominica one 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 dominica one china one world 20 strong i have no idea what that means enjoy yourself two for who who want to yeah i agree it's scary to enjoy yourself the people don't care about their own destruction why should you if you are the one causing the destruction and people keep voting for you to come back why should you even care just like certain places that are strongholds of dominica labor party you're looking at these places and nothing is going on them nothing absolutely nothing they changed the ministers brothers and sisters what has the ministers done the new ministers they say reset is coming all right so reset come what has the new ministers done for the constituencies what what brothers and sisters what they're making you believe oh reset oh new vibrant people coming in to bring in new ideas great 
What have they done? Absolutely nothing at all. And Scarrett is in China making a jest of himself. Talking about AM to PM, we're working as if the Chinese people know what he's talking about. And it's not even that he's a good singer. Not even that he's a good singer. Thank God for the young lady right there who actually helped him. Because he would look like a fool. Pretty much. Sasseri <sighs> Dim. Only PM Scary can rock the Chinese like that. This man has talent, wisdom, knowledge, and negotiating skills. God bless you, PM. That's what this individual is saying. Something. Anyways, is that taking them there? Is that taking them there? We no idea what that means, but no. But that girl herself have got sweet papa. <laughs> she has got. But hopefully they pay her for what she's doing there. What an entanglement, brothers and sisters. Entanglement is joke. AM to PM, we work in 100. Evil money. But the F in country, all the way below sea level. Yeah, it rock, well, you talk about rock bottom, Dominica. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a hole to climb out of there eh? from that Dominica. Eh? Dominica, eh? boy. Dominica hit rock bottom about five, about seven years ago. So that means seven years of digging rock bottom that day. Yes, man. Well, you think Dominica is simple like that? I don't know what the person is saying here. Mr. Like a Klong, China sing, uh, um, say sing, he's singing. Yeah, I thought of that as well. Why would you, why would you as a Prime Minister be going to sing? That is, that is that. Guys, I myself, I really, I really, I really don't know. I really don't know, man. It's sad, though. It's sad. Anyways, I saw this thing right there, brothers and sisters. That was yesterday. And it reads, Dominican breaking news. Breaking news, brothers and sisters, after leading a delegation to China, Honorable, Honorable on Roosevelt Skerritt, has announced his resignation and has named on Vince Henderson as his successor. A number of persons were going quite crazy on this thing right there, brothers and sisters. And they were like, what? After this whole thing, that was his last performance, AM to PM? I mean, come on, he should have done better than that. But that was his last performance. And then, bow, brothers and sisters, resignation. We have heard this prime minister saying all this thing all the time. That he wants to resign, he wants to resign, he wants to resign. It seems like he cannot resign because he has to, you know, connect the dots, so to speak, to ensure that he doesn't get in trouble when he's outside there. On the basis of where is our money, brothers and sisters? We have no clue where that is right there. He says that all the money is done, which is interesting right there. But of course, brothers and sisters, this came in as on April 1st. And a number of persons fell for it. Um, I was like, the first time when I read it, I was like, really? How on earth? I, 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 I knew this was kind of insane. It's like, this is not this is not where you pass on something to your your your, your son. Not like the king, you the king of a country, you the king of England, and you pass away or you resign and you pass on you know your successor to your son. This is a democracy. This is impossible, brothers and sisters. You gotta say, why oh, pass it on prime ministership to the next? First of all, you don't even talk to your delegates of individuals to tell them, okay, guys, this is why I'm thing and they vote and you know and so forth and so forth. You just bow just like that, which I thought was kind of insane but i say hey this is dominica anything seems to go so it's a possibility that this is happening and the people will just accept it is strange if that has to happen that way it is not supposed to happen that way by law you cannot just say oh i resign and then oh i put vince henderson as prime minister nonsense that doesn't work that way brothers and sisters in democracy right there not at all and then i realized that this was most likely a joke brothers and sisters a joke april 1st joke right there so a number of persons were like you know this is going on and what have you brothers is blah 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 but I, I must come to the conclusion i understand that you know we april 1st you know making fools we like to make fools you know brothers and sisters even scared making a fool of out of himself maybe he's enjoying himself making a fool enjoying himself that's fine but brothers and sisters that resignation thing is no joke or should not be any joke to us at all because scary needs to go 
Whether it's by fire, by force, or his resignation. <laughs> he needs to go, brothers and sisters. He has screwed up the country too much. Screwed up the country too much, brothers and sisters. This is why I believe that this thing is the very fact right there. April Fool's Day is cancelled this year. Because no prank is greater than the joke that is running this country right now. Let me read, let me read that again to you guys right there. April Fool's Day is cancelled or should be cancelled this year. This joke should not even exist. Right there, brothers and sisters. Because I know you're trying to be funny and then utilizing what happened. Yeah, that's true. Good. That was a good one. But in the basis of the seriousness of how this man is screwing up the country, April Fool's Day should be cancelled. Because there is no prank in this world that is greater than the joke that is running this country right now. It's very sad indeed when it comes down to the situation right there, brothers and sisters. But this was definitely a joke in that regard. But it should not be a joke anytime, any way, any form at all right there. But of course, I saw this very thing on the basis of what has happened to PDD. And then while this individual was speaking, I think it's Boosie, that's his name right there. Um, Boosie, yes. Boosie says he's never seen so many black people happy for someone's downfall and speaks on Diddy's celebrity friends not speaking up for him. Nobody got nothing nice to say. It's very interesting. I've heard Scary saying that he has many friends. And it seems like there's a lot of people who support him. Scary knows that these people are not his friends, you know. But just to reiterate that very same sentiment right there, brothers and sisters, especially not just as prime minister or just normal sometimes when you have funds that's when you have friends they're not your friends brothers and sisters they're only there to benefit from you and when they cannot benefit from you again that's it i ain't never seen so many black people happy for a nigga downfall i don't hear none of them niggas who was at did shit toasting with that champagne every year having speeches with me ain't nobody speak up for this man or nothing when you they were there i saw the videos you know guys i saw a lot of the videos Diddy having all sorts of people around him and bringing people to have fun and so forth and so forth. Whatever strange fun ever they having after 12 o'clock in the night. That's another story right there. But before that, brothers and sisters, a number of persons used to be around him toasting and, you know, being happy to be black, apparently. Saying black excellence, brothers and sisters. I saw some of the videos. Black excellence. One of my friends was, anyways, black excellence, brothers and sisters. And you see this, all these black folks. And, you know, now we end up in some sort of trouble. Where are his friends now? You're on top of the world, it's a celebration. When mm -hmm. you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. This world mm -hmm. up, bro. I had to learn. Apologies for the language, brothers and sisters. Hopefully I get to take out the language, but apologies for the language right there. Make it make sense though, bro. Like, come on, man. All y'all had them champagne glasses over them suits on for all these brunches and all this shit. Nobody got nothing nice to say. All these colleges got billions millions from this man. Ain't nobody got nothing nice to say. I'm just saying, though, all them damn friends he used to have all these years, these athletes, these entertainers, entrepreneurs, putting their glasses up with them, toasting, listening to his speeches. They, they damn. probably knew, bro. They probably knew. But now that the shit done hit the fan, ain't nobody trying to say. Ah, the individual in the background said he probably knew what was going on. Just like I'm sure that the present individuals who surround scary know what is going on, but they don't say anything because they are benefiting from it. They are benefiting from it, brothers and sisters. And if he were to fall today, brothers and sisters, on the basis of all sorts of corruptions and allegations across the world that have been laid as a result of what he has done through the CBI program, brothers and sisters, on the basis of criminals getting passports, why? Talking about we have the most robust system when it comes down to due diligence, brothers and sisters, and we know that's not the case. An ample amount of individuals, criminals, both known and unknown, have gotten Dominican passports and diplomatic passports as well. To the point where one came to Dominican and was hiding in Mont Daniel. He was trying to escape his dirty ways in his country. He was hiding in Mont Daniel. And I think they caught him in Dominican Republic. When he, when, he, when he left, went to Dominican Republic, well, they caught him. And, you know, that's how it goes, brothers and sisters. Damn, but if you're a friend, you're a friend. Jesus. True. Yeah, thanks. A friend, you're a friend. Until it's still an allegation. Until the facts come out. Uh, but a friend is a friend. Bro. A friend with you right or what? Wrong. All wrong. A friend is a friend, bro. True. None of them wouldn't his friend. You still hug your friend. 
If, and if you know your friend is doing bad, brothers and sisters, if you know your friend is doing bad and you did not tell your friend anything, whatever happens to your friend, you should go with it. You should go in with it as well. Through thick and thin. This is why I always tell people, know who your friends are. If you're doing something crazy, you're there and your friends never tell you nothing about it. These are not your friends. These are your enemies. Because if you were to falter as a result of the crazy... Sorry about that, guys. I just got a call right there. But if you were to falter, brother, see, see, if your friend were to falter as a result of what he has done, he or she has done, and he never told them anything, you should definitely, you know, stick with them to the end. This is why you're supposed to tell your friends, hey, what you doing? Stop your dirty ways. And I warn you once, I warn you twice, you want to continue, brothers and sisters, you're supposed to distance yourself from these people. Because if they don't want to listen as a con, you concern about them, they will jeopardize you. You see, like T.D. Jakes? Well, with T.D. Jakes, I don't believe T.D. Jakes had any, you know, thing with them, but he was being friendly and whatnot, you know, and whatnot. Probably didn't tell uh, T.D. J, uh, I'm, I'm this guy, I'm probably trying to win him or whatever it is in that regard over to the good side right there. And, you know, being friendly with him and so forth and so forth. And then look. His name got tied into the whole thing as well. Talk about his PDD's love. I'm <laughs> People are crazy in the stuff that they say sometimes. But hey, it is what it is right there, brothers and sisters. Show me your friends. I'll show you who you are. Even though you are innocent in that regard. This is why you need to warn your friends. When they are doing craziness right there, brothers and sisters. Tell them, hey, shop your dirty ways. You deal with them. You hear, I hear, I'm here to work with you to help you get this out. If you don't get out of this thing, of this situation, if you don't want to get out, then we cannot roll like we used to before. Because you're jeopardizing me, you're thinking of yourself. When you're in problem, it's going to hurt me. And also, you can put me directly into, into problem as well. So you don't want to think about me, and then you just want to continue doing your craziness. I'll have to distance myself. All that is part of being friends. And friendship through friendship. Look the sentiment right there. Where are his friends now? Where are his friends who pop in bottles and saying, Hey, all the time meeting them, hey, I haven't partied with you, man. We have never partied. All this kind of craziness is saying that. Where is he? That's a good question right there. Where is he? I heard he's in Antigua or his family's in Antigua and all kind of things like that, you know. It's interesting that they chose Antigua. They should have chosen Dominica. I think Dominica is a, you know more a haven for this anyways you are you are innocent until proven guilty brothers and sisters and according to what boosie was saying right there you are innocent until proven guilty so his friends should stick with him on the basis that he's innocent unless they know that he's guilty and now he's been caught we distance ourselves from him these people were never your friends to begin with scared needs to also understand that as well he always say he has many friends Many friends? Well, when you hit rock bottom, you'll know how many friends you have. That is the true test of a friendship, brothers and sisters. Two tests of a friend. So if you want to say, oh, I have my many friends, and you know, hey, my friend give me Jeep, even though that seems to be weird that they're giving you Jeep to come to Dominica. But of course, you know. Yes, brothers and sisters. So what are your thoughts on the whole thing right there, man? What are your thoughts on the whole thing? It's very interesting. Let me just go back a little so you guys can hear the ending of this. It's <laughs> still an allegation. It's still an allegation. But a friend is a friend. A friend with you right or what? Wrong. All wrong. A friend is a friend, bro. None of them wouldn't his friend. You still hug your friend. Even if you knew what was going on, a friend is a friend. Well, I guess Skyrim will see who his friends is. Anyways, brothers and sisters, this is pretty much all we asked for this year. Reaction for BRBPTV. What are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts, guys? I'm gonna go for my lunch right now, man. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my lunch and then I'll come back and shoot the other reaction, which is uh, I think there's an uh, yeah I think I got an update on the situation with um Elias. So uh, uh, on the next reaction, Miss Licks reacts, guys. I wanna I wanna put it out there, not on the basis of 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 you know trying to pinpoint anything but a learning curve as to you know how certain things can be prevented this is one of the reasons why i tend to do reactions brothers and sisters is to inform and also to try to find solutions on how we can better prevent certain things from happening just like i still remember the whole incident with the penville five individuals and i say well at least put a rail there brothers and sisters a railing in the area where these folks fell they plunged to their death 
Five young men plunged to their death. Three of them I knew. One I was close to right there. All of them plunged to their death, brothers and sisters. And you think that a railing would be there. You put a railing inside there. You know, fortify the railing so that, you know, this kind of situation does not happen again. From my understanding, the railing is still not there. I mean, how long will it take for us to learn? They want the Prime Minister or somebody to fall along there for them to do something about the, the area? Is that is that it? Or Minister of Government or somebody of their family to fall down there before they do something about it? Yeah, to prevent? Brothers and sisters, we, in, the, in, in this world, there's preventative measures. There's carelessness and there's preventative measures. Why, why should we remain careless, man? Especially when we can do things to alleviate certain problems. They say prevention is better than cure. Not true. What if there's no cure? And it didn't prevent anything, brothers and sisters. If there's no cure, there's... So I will, I'll be doing a little reaction on that vibrations right there. So tune into that a bit later on today, guys. The boy Mr. on this here, BRBP TV. Be real. Don't forget to click the like button. I would appreciate that. Th uh, subscribe as well. And turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as it tend to come through. So by Mr. once again, be real, guys. Be positive.